welcome everyone to yet another interesting episode of environment primer my name is pragya and today we are going to discuss about the global biofuels alliance in this discussion we will be studying about what are biofuels then we will also see the categories of biofuels we will also then understand that what is a global biofuels alliance we will also understand its importance in international scenario and in the end we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination so if i talk about the background of our today's discussion then this global biofuel alliance has been launched by india in its g20 presidency so it is a newly formed alliance and it has been launched in the 18th edition of g20 uh, summit which was held at new delhi and in this discussion we will also see why is this alliance important from for, for the international scenario so before we understand what is the global biofuels alliance let us talk about what are biofuels as the name itself suggest biofuels that is bio and fuels so if i split this term biofuels it in simple language it means that it is a fuel which is derived from organic matters so bio means it is a fuel that is derived from organic matters it is formed naturally it is formed naturally without disturbing the environment and it has been evolved as an alternative to the fossil fuels so in our climate change discussion we were seeing that due to the use of fossil fuels and due to the industrial revolution in the 18th century it has led to global warming the greenhouse gases have increased due to human activities so now we need to focus on maintaining a average temperature of 1.5 degree celsius to 2 degree celsius to uh, you know avoid the worst impacts of climate change and that is why we are using this uh, we are finding alternatives to the fossil fuels so that we can uh, use those fuels which are more greener in nature and biofuels if i talk about are derived from organic matters and if i talk about the definition given by the international energy agency it defines biofuels as liquid fuels derived from biomass just a second and use as an alternative to fossil fuel based liquid transportation fuels such as gasoline diesel and aviation fuels so this is what i was explaining that this is an alternative to all of the fossil fuels because they are very harmful for our environment and it is a kind of liquid fuel that is derived from natural resources and that is why it is known as biofuel so if i talk about the categories of biofuels there is first generation category of biofuels which is derived from sugar crops such as sugar cane etc so this is completely natural and is derived from sugar crops examples include sugar starch vegetable oil or animal fats and it is made by using conventional technology then there are second generation biofuels also categorized as advanced biofuels so these are made from sustainable feed stock and how do we decide that what feed stock is sustainable feed stock is something that we are not using with which is a waste product formed out of the food industry so feed stock is a waste product which we are using to uh, create this second generation biofuels and if i talk about what are the factors do we consider by determining its sustainability they include impact on land use then impact on greenhouse gases and impact on overall environment so all of these uh, factors are considered while determining sustainability of the feed stock examples of these uh, second generation biofuels include cellulose ethanol biodiesel etc then there are more advanced biofuels known as the third generation biofuels and these are derived from algae so they are, these are derived from these algae 
and they are more sustainable in nature in fact this solves most of the problems which occur from uh, you know deriving biofuels of first generation and second generation because algae is naturally occurring and it is almost uh, a waste uh, occurring on baseline so we are use, utilizing this algae in producing third generation biofuels example butanol so they are the most advanced kind of biofuels then there are fourth generation biofuels in the production of these fuels crops that are genetically engineered to take in high amounts of carbon and harvested as biomass so what are we doing we are purposely harvesting those crops which take away or which soak carbon dioxide from our atmosphere why because we want to reduce the impact of greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide does lead to the heating of the atmosphere and that is why we are uh, you know purposefully growing such crops which soak carbon dioxide from the atmosphere these crops are then converted into fuel using second generation techniques and some of these fuels are considered carbon negative as their production pulls out carbon from the environment this is what i, I was explaining uh, to you that their production cuts out the carbon emissions from the atmosphere and these are made by using second generation techniques so these are the highest advanced level of biofuels and now if i talk about the global biofuels alliance why is the world trying to move to a natural occurring fuel rather than the fossil fuel to reduce the impact of climate change as well as to achieve the average temperature of 1.5 degree celsius to 2 degree celsius so this global biofuel alliance has been launched by india as i was discussing before and the global biofuels alliance was announced bringing together biofuels producers and consumers with the intent to strengthen global biofuels trade for a greener sustainable future so what are we trying to do we are uh, trying to Uh, you know bring together producers and consumers of this biofuel and then we'll trade in biofuel so the g20 countries are uh, trying this uh, global biofuels alliance to increase the trade of biofuels so that they can have a sustainable development along with development according to g20 biofuel study report biofuels account for 0 to 7% of g20 countries energy mix this is also very important that the countries which has intro introduced this global biofuels alliance biofuels almost form 0 to 7% of their energy resources and that is why they were so interested in launching global biofuels alliance so if i talk about the members of this global biofuel alliance it is founded by brazil usa and india the observant nature nations are canada etc and the membership is open that all of the countries can join this biofuel alliance the both g20 countries as well as the non g20 countries in fact 19 countries and 12 international organizations have already joined this global biofuels alliance so the membership is almost thrown open to every country who wants to join the founding fathers are brazil india and usa who are 85% consumers of this biofuels and the it has been launched with the intention to create a greener future so if i talk about the importance of this global biofuel alliance This alliance will be aimed at facilitating cooperation and intensifying the use of sustainable biofuels including in the transportation sector. So as I was discussing this before also that we are trying to shift our base from using fossil fuels to this biofuels and this global biofuel alliance will focus on using biofuels in the transportation sector. Then if we have to achieve 0% net emission by 2050 then the production of biofuels has to be tripled by 2030 and this will also be the main focus of 
this global biofuels alliance that it will also enhance the production of biofuels because it is being founded by those countries who are 85% of consumers of this biofuels then it will also lead to an investment of usd 500 million to enhance the production of biofuel so this will definitely is going to increase the trade between the g20 countries so these were some of the important aspect of the global biofuel alliance firstly it will promote use of biofuels as an alternative to fossil fuels then also it will also you know try to achieve our target of net zero emissions by uh, tripling the production and then it will also foster trading relations between the g20 countries and that is why it is very important and if i talk about the challenges that this global biofuels alliance is going to uh, face the first and the foremost trans uh, challenge is the technologically transfer most of the developed countries do not want to share their technology transfers with the developing countries why because they maintain a level of secrecy so we'll see that uh, how is this uh, technology transfer between g20 countries is going to happen then the second challenge is environmental impact as i was discussing this before also this uh, alternate fuel have to be assessed the impact has to be assessed on the environment that whether it is actually suitable because this production also involves the constraints on environmental factors so it will actually be seen that whether it is non harmful to the environment or whether it is also harm harming the environment to some extent then there are challenges between the trade also then there are cost of production as well so these are the challenges which might be faced by this global biofuels alliance now let us understand the practice question for your prelims examination as we have concluded our discussion today we have seen that what are biofuels we have also examined the categories of biofuels and we have also seen the global biofuels alliance which was launched by india in the 18th g20 summit at new delhi we have also seen that why is it important it is important because it will pitch india at a global level it will allow india to take a lead in developing a sustainable and a greener future and that is why this alliance is very important for india now let us see a practice question for your prelims examination so the question is consider the following statements your statement number 1 is global biofuel alliance has been launched by india your statement number 2 is it aims to accelerate the transis, uh, transition to sustainable biofuels and reduce the world's dependency on traditional fossil fuels which of the following statements is are correct your options are option a is one only option b is two only option c is both one and two and option d is none of the above kindly drop your answers in the comment box below now let us analyze a practice question for your mains examination discuss the opportunities and challenges associated with the global biofuel alliance in opportunity you will write that firstly you will explain what is the global biofuels alliance you will also discuss in brief what are biofuels then you will explain that it is very important for the countries to switch to or find an alternative to fossil fuels because due to the global warming and due to, to avoid the worst impacts of climate change then you will also talk about the importance of this alliance that it is very important for maintaining environmental sustainability for you know fostering relations between countries and for achieving our target of net zero emissions then you will talk about the challenges such as technology transfer such as cost of production we will have to assess whether it the production of these biofuels is helpful or harmful for the environment and then you can conclude that this is a very important alliance and it will definitely take a lead in exploring alternative to fossil fuels i hope this session was insightful for you if you found the today's discussion helpful kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates thank you